What's up YouTube, it's Mark from Kentucky. Coming to you from the Kentucky Man Cave. I'm here to do a video response for Ground Chuck, the Mendoza Line 200 subscriber contest. Uh, he wanted to know uh, what our favorite team is, who our favorite all-time player is, and the player on our team that um, would be at the Mendoza Line. Um, well, unfortunately, my favorite team is the New York Mets. They're having a really tough year this year. And half the team is uh, on the Mendoza line, it seems like. Um, we've only got one player batting over 270 that uh, has played in 100 games. Um, and that is, uh, man, I don't, don't forget, Wilmer Flores. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple players on the Mets who are on the Mendoza line. Um, first off, we're going to start off with uh, Jose Reyes. That's a McFarlane headliner. I mean, uh, it's not a headliner. It's a McFarlane figure. At one time, this guy was a batting champion a few years back. But this year, he's batting a cool 197. So he makes the list. Um, another one on the list is Jay Bruce. He's batting uh, 219. He has been on the disabled list all year. There he is in a Mets uniform. Um, another one who is on the Mendoza line is Devin Mesorosco. Catcher. We traded Matt Harvey for this guy. And he is batting 212. There's another one of his cards. Oh, there's another one. Another one on the list is Mr. Todd Frazier. He's batting 229. And you see this theme here? All these guys are former Reds. The Reds haven't won anything since NOM. I don't know what the hell the Mets thinking, keeping picking up these damn Reds players. Um, I guess they did win World Series back in 1990, but good Lord. Um, and then the last player I'm going to show you that's on the Mendoza line from the Mets, Jose Batista. He's batting a robust 204. Um, horrible. I mean, how do we expect to win with all these guys batting, you know, near the Mendoza line? Mets are just killing me this year. Sorry, it's a little bit of a rant about my Mets. Um, and then the last thing that he wanted to know was um, who our all-time favorite player is. Of course, mine is Gary Carter. There's a 1976 Rookie Cup card. Really like that card. This is a uh, 1975 SSP set rookie card. And I have his 1975 Tops rookie card. He's my all-time favorite player. But uh, Kyle, it's, uh, uh, Kyle's got a great channel. I really like his content. He's a big Andre Dawson super, uh, super collector. Um, he collects them. He collects the Mariners. If you guys haven't checked him out, you definitely need to check out his channel. He's got 211 subscribers. He needs more. He deserves more. Um, so I'm going to put his link below so you guys can um, check him out. And I want to thank everyone for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Please leave some comments and keep on collecting.